Hello guys, welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Facebook page tournament. On the previous video guys, I already showed you guys how to create this Facebook page tournament, but I didn't, guy, I didn't actually um, go in depth on how to do it, on how to create the tournament or how to go about if you haven't created the tournament before. I actually stumbled upon it on my device, so I later on found out a way on how to create this. So I'm just going to show you guys how to create this. And for now, I can only create this at will on desktop version so if you are on your desktop version just follow me along and i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this and hopefully after this video you'll be able to create your own and organize more tournament by yourself so um if you are going to be organizing tournament just come over to um this particular facebook page section and read more about the facebook tournament you can click on this video to watch the video to learn more about it or you can just scroll down to read more instructions about it and if you want to read more rules and regulations about it i still have it here and i'm going to be leaving the link below so that you guys can go through and see what the tournament is all about and why are you actually building a tournament so if you guys I already read all this and actually accepted the facebook terms of condition and terms of use of the facebook tournament and you believe that you're actually going to respect their facebook page terms of view and their terms of rules so if you are going to believe and follow their policies just make sure you read the, you read all this um details um from beginning to end even at the frequency ask questions so after reading the frequent ask question of everything so you can now dive in into creating your own tournament and if you are um if you are new to this if you want to get into the facebook gaming section before um finding out about tournament and all those things this is actually where you come to you just say fb.gg um this is actually a new way to type um the facebook url because um, typing the Facebook in full is just a, a little bit too long. So you can actually abbreviate it this way. So you can just um, type in fb.gg and then go ahead and hit enter. Wait for it to load. And once it loads up, it's going to show you the Facebook gaming homepage where you see um, the live streaming gaming on the Facebook. And you could actually see um, more of um, the latest or the most popular gaming channels or the gaming channels you are following and every other um, little things about the gaming community you can find everything right here and when you scroll down you are still going to see more people streaming and you are also going to see the most suggested game and the top streaming game on the facebook um community so now from here on you can notice where it says um tournament and you can also browse for more streamers and you can also check out um mixer and or facebook gaming whichever one you want you can just go ahead and click on browse gaming if you want to watch other people play game and if you are into tournament just go ahead and click on tournament but apart from clicking on tournament right from here um there is still a shortcut link to that let me give you guys that i'm still going to leave that on the description below so make sure you check out on the description below so if you want to create a tournament or you want to go into the tournament area all you need to do is to type in fb.gg slash t so once you type in all these details wait for it to load the t means tournament the g means gaming and then the fb means facebook so um after you've typed it in it's supposed to show in this same area the same thing that is displaying on the other previous section if you haven't created a tournament yet it's going to advise you to create a tournament and it's just going to show you a, a brief detail just like this one but the difference is i already created a tournament and when you scroll down you can notice the featured tournament that is already existing on the facebook platform right now so if you are interested in joining any of the tournament you can click and then register to join any tournament just click on anyone that you are interested in let me go ahead and click on this one although i'm not interested in any of this so if you're actually interested in just go ahead and click on register most of this tournament you don't need to make payment to register you just need a facebook account or if whatever reason they have some other rules or some other regulations um they set in place you can actually go ahead and make sure you follow that but if not if there is none of them just go ahead and click on register and you'll be able to register like just like that so um if you're done with that and you're ready to create your own now let's dive in 
So um, before you create a Facebook page, if you remember what I said, make sure you read all this detail. I'm going to leave the link on the description below. Make sure you follow all these rules of EQ and their privacy policy before you be able to create your games. If not, you are going to be violating their Facebook rules and others um, terms of use on Facebook tournaments tournament creation so if you guys are ready to create it let's just start up so once you're open once you've opened the tournament make sure you click on um the account which you want to use to create the profile which right now i'm going to be making use of the trust stanley which is actually my own account just like i did on the previous mobile version it's still the same thing so um just scroll down a little bit and select the event name whichever event name you want to give it i'm going to say um, the Pathfinder, let me just call it a path deprivation. Now, let's say, um, we are, I'm just going to leave this um, in short because um, having it really long is just going to make the video too long. But if you're writing this description, make sure you give it a pretty um, descriptive um descriptive description that um people can easily read and understand what the tournament is all about instead of um viewing more things at least if they view a little bit of it they can understand what the tournament is all about so the br means battle royale right so um just say um survivor so uh, make sure you get your graphical errors set up properly and don't make much mistakes on your writing so um when you want the registration to resume just put in a date and put in a starting time and then put it the end date whichever date you choose just make sure it will be enough for them to register so if it's enough for them to register that's going to be right and that's going to be good for them so if not um, make sure you put it in a selected date where they can easily register and be able to participate and make sure you select the time frame that everybody will be online and also make sure you use a catchy thumbnail a catchy photograph actually if you guys don't have a particular photograph just go ahead and search for any call of duty photograph whichever one you want because i'm going to be making use of color duty so i'm going to search for the latest call of duty mobile photograph i'm going to use like the best one that is going to be describing call of duty mobile because it's actually what i'm going to be making so um don't confuse anybody with your tournament just make sure you leave it straight and simple if it's the latest um call of duty um images that you found fine if it's the old one fine but if if you if you're okay with whichever one you've uh, you've seen just make sure you click on it and if you want to um make sure you get the right image or you get um a very full screen image just right click and open it on a new mobile and then go ahead and click on save us once you click on save us you can now go ahead and give it a name and then click on save so once you're done saving the image make sure you know where you saved the image on i think mine should be saved on downloads so after you've saved the image come right back here to the tournament creation page now um go ahead and select the profile image again and select download scroll down to the profile image which you downloaded just now and then make sure you have it set to wherever you want it to so um now we are going to be talking about adding a co-host now the co-host is just in case if you have other people that are hosting the tournament with you not just you because if you are the only person hosting it i don't know if you're um if you have a lot of fans or if you can easily attract people with your um account if if not you can go ahead and add more co-hosts so that they can easily join you up in the tournament so if not it's going to be limited to most people that will be joining because if very few people know you that means you are not going to be um, getting a lot of people registering the tournament so i'm going to go ahead and add a friend of mine who is also a very good gamer and i'm going to add another person also and adding these people means they are going to accept my invitation so um once you're done adding them go ahead and create the tournament so um if you're okay with adding them just go ahead and 
click on create tournament now um i think i missed something oh i forgot to save so after you've saved the co-host make sure you save the co-host once you've saved it go ahead and click on create tournament and wait for it to create the tournament event for you give it some minute it doesn't take time but depending on the um, speed of your internet because my internet is not so fast it's taking a little while so now you can notice it's all done and created for us and you can notice the time which i created is and you can notice it says um stay up to date to COVID 19 blah 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 dismiss I'm not interested in that so now the tournament has been created all you need to do is to go ahead and click on invite 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 and keep inviting people make sure you invite enough people if you can invite up to 50 gamers that you know that is going to be good because you know this is going to be a dual battle so you need up to 100 people so you need to have to invite a lot of people and you have to tell your friends to tell their friends to invite people also and also to join the tournament all right guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like the video and share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and see you guys soon stay home and stay safe peace and i'm so sorry for not making some some videos um previously the reason why i didn't make the videos was because i wasn't so strong i was feeling ill but i'm very okay now and i'm back to making more videos hope you guys check out my channel for more videos and every day i'll be uploading my videos see you guys soon stay home and stay safe peace